So, we've got possessed again, this time by a muse, and we, our friends got possessed as well, and we're trying to find them now. Okay, where can they be? Wait, that sculpture, I just can't. Please. Okay. Should they go to this house? Not yet. You don't understand. I almost had it perfect. You almost had yourself dead, you idiot. What happened here? Oh, it's you. You probably shouldn't be in here. I think this place is gonna be closed for the foreseeable future. Closed? No. No, you can't do that! What happened? Shipman's finally lost it. I should have seen it. You know a guy for years. You should know when something's wrong. Nothing was wrong. Everything was so right. You cut open your wrist and you were bleeding into your mixing bowl. I needed to put more of myself into my work. It was the only way. I... I just don't have an answer to that, Clay. I don't. So is he under arrest? arrest? Oh, God, no. He's not going to jail. He needs help. Help that I can't give him. So you're sending me to the mental ward? Only for 72 hours. That's what the law will let me do. I thought you were my friend! I am, Clay. I am. Look, you'd better go. Tell Santina I'll call her soon. That's messed up. Mandana? Mandana! I've never seen the Muse's power abused like this. Stanley Bates has no idea what he's doing. The creative energy, her mind is overflowing with it. She's going to die, and soon. Well, at least their graffiti is a tiny bit better than mine. Your friend can't hear you. I'm sorry. She's buried deep, struggling to connect with a deeper part of herself, one that she can express through art. I can sort of relate in expressing yourself. You can often find yourself. Yes, exactly. You get it. Only this is more direct and harmful. The subject has to be willing. They have to be ready to confront whatever is inside. Your friends aren't. And unless we help them with that, they will die. Can you help them? Me? No. My power is gone. Can't do much. I'm a bit useless here. But you're kind of not. You on a vow, guys. You have a link, right? Something connecting you. You can use that. Try and connect to your friend. See if you can help. Uh, how do I do that? It shouldn't be hard. Mandana is in a heightened mental state at the moment. Connecting to her mind won't be hard if you focus. Just touch her on the head and, well, think about her. Okay. Your friend is going to be vulnerable, scared, confused. So, be gentle. Okay. 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 And uh, knowing what happened to her recently, that might be tough. I am immortal, like a jinn. I abhor falsehood, like a jinn. I feel love, as humans do. I bleed, as humans do. Jinn and human. I discard one for the other, as it suits me, donning them like costumes. Which one is me? Do I follow my mother or my father? Uh, why not both? Because it gives me pain. Torn between two worlds. The uncertainty of where I belong. It hurts. Oh no, she always seem like more of a pirate than the Jin to me. The only Jin quality I really see was the lying thing, but that doesn't get in the way too much. Like Jin's grand wishes and she doesn't. That's like the main thing. Let's see. Human? Yes, I seem human. I have thoughts and emotions that seem human. I have shared laughter with human friends. Gain knowledge from human teachers. 
shared hearts with human lovers. They all grow old. They all die. None of them understand. Even mother. I can never be one of them. Not entirely. There will always be distance. And what about the father? I cannot stomach the presence of other Jin. So cold, so calculating, so proud of their wordplay. The other Jin children would tell riddles. I would escape into the forest to run and jump. Alone. Father tried to understand. He tried to help, but he could not. How could he? It does not matter. Oi, girl. Oh god. This is going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> Just barrel towards them. Yeah, you're my mother's mother. A bit. Ah, sham that is. Time swallowed me. Got me beat like. Happens to us all like. If you don't be dog wild. <laughs> I can't understand a word you're saying. <laughs> Acting the maggot you are. Don't be having a lash off with me. My baby's getting bait like. Yeah, she's in danger. You need to get her out of here. Danger? Yeah, cheek. Take that back or I'll claim you. Ah, uh, Mandana's a solid she devil like her mom. She's just a bit banjax like. How can I help? You think you're sham fiend? I got the young one to see the light. She's just lost her sea legs like. Just needs a push. What are you doing here? I ain't doing a gatch. I tell you that for a sack of poppies. Well, it says there is distance between you. Distance? That's an awful thing to say, like. She'd not know the arse end of a blade if it weren't for me. Why then? Perhaps you can talk some sense into my daughter? Nice to see you again. Good to see me. I'm not actually here. You know this. I'm not real. Um. Uh. You know you're not real? A djinn is incapable of lying, even in this place. I know who I am. I know what I am. It is time Mandana did the same. Uh, we need to get her out of here. She merely needs to make a choice. I am sure she will make the right one. Can I help? Help? No. This is a choice she must make on her own. Madonna believes you never truly understood her. She is torn between two worlds. I understand this. Her human side made her less prone to introspection, made her impatient, hot headed. Her spiritual side enhanced her physical body, making her quicker, stronger. Together, it was a lethal combination. So it was up to me to channel her, hone her into a force for good instead of destruction. I. Did the best I could. What father could do more? Farewell. <laughs> Metal rod? No. No. So do I talk to her again? Father or mother? To which world do I belong? <laughs> do I just choose for her? What the hell? I still. I lean towards the mother more. Yes, mother taught me how to fight, just like her. Although, if I am honest, I was better than her. Not that I would show it in front of her crew. She would have gone mad as a box of frogs. Yes, father always told me such. Being part human, I cared too deeply. I needed direction. Father and the unavowed provided that. Maybe you're something new? Something new? Whatever do you mean? Could it be without both sides, human and Jin, I would not be myself? If I were not human, I would not care enough to join the fight. But if I were not Jin, I would not be strong enough to fight in the first place. Not in any way that matters. I am both, and yet neither. Something new. A new path entirely. 
Well, that was easier than I expected. Something new from both worlds. What happened? Where is Stan Bates? He whammied you. Whammied? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Are you okay? I feel good. Exhausted. But good. I think I need to sit down. Just for a few minutes. Yeah, that turned out for the better, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, this art's interesting. <laughs> Hello? Hello? You guys, I'm over here. Jesus Christ, hello? Are you fucking deaf? <laughs> I like their dreams. <laughs> Are you fucking deaf? <laughs> What are you yelling at? Them. Those people over there? You do see them, right? Or, or maybe they don't see me. But they never do, do they? I don't see anyone. So they were never there in the first place. I knew it. Nobody cares. But I knew that, right? That's the deal. That's part of being a cop. I knew that growing up. It's part of being a Santina. It's just so goddamn lonely sometimes, you know? Mm. You're a good cop, no matter what anyone says. Screw being a good cop. I was a great cop. That's not the problem here. Twelve years I gave to the badge. I was never thanked. Not once. But that's the job. That's what you sign up for. But I still want it. Some fucking recognition. I shouldn't need this. I shouldn't want this. I used to live for applause, so I totally get it. I'm not some asshole skipping around the stage. This is real life. Shit. Sorry. That was uncalled for. But it's true. You're an actor. You need that validation. A cop shouldn't. Well, we see that, but it is kind of the same. Yeah, I guess let's try to comfort her. There are people uh, out there alive and happy because of you. I know that. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad. Happy even. But it doesn't matter. I still want a parade. Okay. Now that's a bit much, isn't it? Uh, you don't have to shut out your feelings. They're not a cop anymore. Yeah, I know I'm not a cop anymore. So what the hell am I? Unavowed. Roll credits. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. If you had appreciated you enough, Vicky, I'm sorry. I don't want to be appreciated. I want, I want, I want fireworks. I want the key to the city. I want to be a hero. That's stupid. That's crazy. It's some teenage fantasy, but it is what it is. Bullshit. I'm just me. Sure, I risk my ass every day, pound the pavement, or take a bullet so some schmo won't have to, but... Jesus. Listen to me. I am a hero. No. I fight monsters. I'm a fucking superhero. Well, that was easy. Yeah. And nobody knows but me. Ugh. What the... You made it back. Huh? Hey. Cool picture, I... I thought I heard you up here. What happened? I was just asking the same thing. Okay, the gang's back together. You need to find Stan now. Stan Bates? He did... something. Something to us. What was it? He hit you both with a lethal dose of creative energy. It almost killed you both. Creative energy? I feel like I'm hungover. But it was worth it, wouldn't you say? Do you see it now? Do you see what I can offer? This whole neighborhood, the whole world. Uh, dude, I know your intentions are almost good, but you're out of control, dude. No, I know precisely what I'm doing. I get it now. You and your friends, you just received a deep, clear understanding of your deepest selves. 
You're swinging the creative force around like a sledgehammer. You could have killed them. Nothing great is achieved without risk. Oh my god, my power's in the hands of a total idiot. <laughs> Seriously, you all need to kill him. Kill him now before he kills someone else. I beg your pardon? You heard me. I don't want to kill him, but... He used to be punished. Yeah, let's see that. We do not have the resources to restrain a muse. Pragmatism is called for here. As far as I'm concerned, he's got a deadly weapon and is willing to use it. This is insanity. Don't I have a say in this? I've been given this tremendous gift and you don't want it to be used. I don't understand. No, duh, you don't understand. That's the problem. If I used my gift improperly, then I'm sorry. I can learn. It's too late for that. So, how is this going to go? Hmm. Can't you teach him how to use the power properly? No, I can't. You are not lying, are you? Nope. I'm not so old that I can't be taught. I'm not being cute. I really can't. Creative energy runs on instinct, emotion, feelings. You can't teach that. You must have learned somehow, didn't you? I was given the power at a young age. I grew up with it. You didn't. So, I'm sorry. It can't be done. But she, he was an artist for all his life when you weren't. Uh, Stan? Until today, I didn't even know I had this power, let alone that I was killing people. Perhaps forcing an IU3 was wrong. I'm sorry, I didn't know what I was doing. And how many are going to die before you figure it out? I... I will try not to let that happen. Let me live and I'll try. That I promise you. Oh... I wouldn't say he's old anyway, but that's just horrible. No. For a moment I... Was real turned against him. Like a person killed himself because of him. Then another dude cut his wrist. The girl is possessed at a young age. He almost killed all three of us. But now that he knows what the fuck he's doing, he, uh, and he says he's willing to change, I, I want to believe him. Yeah. Earlier you said dying to create art was, uh, was a triumph. Do you still feel that way? Answer the fucking question. The truth, Stan Bates. And no lies. I meant what I said. I will try not to let that happen again. Mm. You know, let him live. Trust is one thing, blind faith is another. You are a danger, Stan Bates. This much is certain. My friend chooses to trust you. Abuse that trust, and it will end badly. Yeah, we can always come back for him. A license to carry a deadly weapon in this city, you know. But for some reason, I don't think Muse Powers is on the application form. Ugh. I don't like this, but I'll go along. You're just going to stand back and leave him like this? I. You know what? I don't even care. I'm a mundane human now. This is none of my business. Good luck, Stan Bates. You're gonna need it. Got an achievement. Muse refused. Um, so what was up with that climbing on the wall thing? We never really had to do anything with that. I can barely move. How tired am I? Everyone's waiting for you. Let's go. I thought I might have been paralyzed for some time. Up. Uh, I'm not doing anything. More rain. That's how we look. I can't do anything about that yet. This is me. 
It's a map, it's just a gun. God damn it. Ah, you are awake. Good. And possessed again. Did I oversleep? Sorry about that. It is no matter. I use the extra time for training. I was gonna say, it's good to see you back at it. It feels good as well. The routine helps. Is Eli downstairs? I thought I'd check in on him. He is rarely anywhere else. Okay, I'll leave you to your training. Thank you. Well, the demon is good at acting, I'll give you that. This is interesting. Hey, Eli. Oh, hey, just a sec. What's up? Just wanted to check in before we head out again. Everything okay? Yeah, uh, sure. I'm still processing everything from last night. Leaving Stan with his powers like that? I just hope he figures it out before someone else dies. It's a complicated question, isn't it? Killing someone in cold blood isn't how we do things, is it? Yeah, you're right. I can think of worse policies to have. Ugh. Something wrong? Nothing. Sorry, just a headache. It's nothing. How about you head upstairs? Yeah. Sure. See you there. Okay, what the hell? Listen, you. I fought tooth and nail to get back into this body, and I'm not giving it up again now. Fuck so off. You stay calm and you stay quiet until I figure out how to shut up. Ba 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 not listening, but <laughs> gotta stay loud. <laughs> this is my body. Was your body? Past tense. Now it's mine. So just relax, would you? I can't focus with you jabbering away in my head. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. You're not exactly mature, but matter. You'll go to sleep in time, just like you did before. I'll just have to ignore you till then. It won't be easy. It won't be easy. I want to make it easy. <laughs> Sorry, I was just reading that poster over there. That's where they do Shakespeare plays on the subway, right? Yeah, Maury and I used to do that back in the day. Good times. You've never killed Julius Caesar until you've done it in Times Square Station during rush hour. Sorry, I shouldn't be thinking about the past so much. It happens to all of us. Don't worry. We all face an uncertain future. Retreating to the past can be comforting. For some of us, maybe. But I know what you mean. I'll just try to annoy, to annoy it as much as I can. I'll give it up. But maybe Logan, he has a huh? better bond. No, I didn't say anything. Something wrong? Yeah, there we go. He says someone's calling your name. She is? I swear to God, I'm not saying your name. Oh, is this our stop? What's wrong? What? She's possessed again. What? what? You know, I really thought I could make it work this time. Fuck. Jesus, what hit me? Oh, crap. Guys, wake up. Do I not get to do the last mission? Yo, where are we going? I don't know. I've been running through these old maintenance tunnels at random. If Great. I don't know where we're going, then nobody else will either. We're going on a super sus adventure. Eventually. Then, I'll plan my next move. What is your plan, anyway? Figure out what to do with you to start with. Really, you're nothing but trouble. 
Quite tired. I once did three performances of Macbeth back to back every day for a week. I can handle this. Also, regenerative magic, that helps too. You won't get away with this. It's getting away from you that I want. Everything else is just a bonus. My feet hurt. They aren't your feet. <laughs> if I can take it, so can you. When the body will find you. Don't be so sure. It took them a year to find me the first time, and that's only because I screwed up. But now they know what they're dealing with. They took so long, I didn't even notice them on my tail until it was too late. I got cocky. What can I say? I'm only human. Yeah, I'm only human, remember that? Yeah, very clever. Wait, you're not kidding, are you? Oh my god, that's kind of funny. What's so funny? Just the irony. You wouldn't get it. I guess technically that's true, but how was I supposed to know that it would lead to this? Wait. Shit. Um, my portrait looks like that uh, crazy eyebrows kid actor. Just look at it now that I've said that. You really don't know, do you? Jesus. How messed Doesn't up it? is this? Oh, it's you. Oh my god, shut up! Yeah, my kids used to say that when I told them to clean their room. Guess how well it turned out for them. Here's a hint. Not as bad as it'll turn out for you. How the hell did you find me down here? Oh, that? I've got your energy signature, remember? From the ritual knife. The what? Forgot about that, did you? We couldn't find you before, because we could only track the version of you that possessed that body. So, you know, thanks. You actually made our jobs much easier. Easier, huh? I know where your power comes from, Fire Mage. I know how it works. You think I can't defend against you? Just try it. Me? No, I wouldn't dream of it. I'm just a distraction. Huh? Nice. I mean, ouch. <laughs> okay, now this looks very interesting, but I think I'll have to cut it here. Sorry, but see you in the next episode.